Today's discussion is about percentage error, the height and radius of a cone are measured as 21 centimeters and 14.0 centimeters respectively. Find the percentage error in the volume of the cone. The first thing, let us get the formula for the volume of a cone. Volume of a cone is given as a third the base area and the base area is pi r squared times the vertical height h. We are given the measurements of this cone. We are told that the radius of the cone is 21 centimeters. So radius is 21 centimeters. I want us to determine the absolute error for this measurement. Absolute error. Now the absolute error is obtained as half times the least unit of measurement. And the least unit of measurement here is, and remember it is to the nearest centimeters, that is it is to the nearest whole number. Therefore, the least unit of measurement is one. So we multiply a half times one, and that is 0 0.5. We also need to consider the case of the height because that is the second measurement. The height is 14. Point zero. Remember it is to one decimal place and therefore if we are to determine the least unit of measurement then we will have to look at it this way. Uh, it is to one decimal place and therefore if we place zero immediately below four and then point one because this is the last digit here. Zero point one becomes the least unit of measurement. The absolute error for this measurement is a half times the least unit of measurement that is 0 0.1 and that should give us 0 0.05 if the volume is a third pi r squared h this can also be expressed as volume is equal to a third pi times r times r times h and this is a third times pi times r is 21 times 21 times the height is 14.0. Now from this equation here, we note that there is a point we are multiplying the measurements. So this is the area we will be interested in. This should help us determine the percentage error in the calculation of the volume. Remember, we'll not talk about a third and pi because those are constants. So error will only result from the measurements. Because we are multiplying, we are going to calculate the percentage error as follows. So we'll have the relative error times 100. And the relative error will be obtained as follows. So we have the relative error for each and every measurements, and then we sum them up. So let's begin with the first 21 here. So relative error is absolute error over the actual measurement, and the absolute error for 21 is 0 0.5. So we'll have 0 0.5 over 21. Plus, let's add for this other 21, still have 0 0.5 over 21, and then we add for 14.0. The absolute error here is 0 0.05, and then we divide by the actual measurement, which is 14. The absolute error we had determined up here, 0 0.05. So, the whole of this will give us the relative error in calculation of the volume of the cone. And then once we're done with this, we multiply by 100 to get the percentage error. For this bracket, we are going to have 43 over 840, of which we are going to multiply by 100. 
and this should be 5.119%. And thus, we have determined the percentage error in the calculation of the volume of the cone. With this, we mark the end of the solution to this problem. Thank you for watching. Bye.